YouTube is trolling me about my Navy Federal internal score. Y'all, I have not typed in anything about the Navy Federal internal score. And over the last week or maybe two, they have sent me two suggested videos about how to get your Navy Federal internal score. And I was just like, come on. Now, you know I'm trying to get my internal score. Why are you teasing me like this? It's just hilarious. So in this video, we're going to talk about I uh, call Navy Federal and ask for my internal score. <laughs> so we're going to talk about what happened with that. Then we're going to talk about what is the Navy Federal internal score and do you really need it? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. Well, y'all, I'm just like, y'all know I've been trying to get my Navy Federal internal score back in, what, April, maybe March. I had applied for the Navy Federal cash rewards credit card even though i hadn't been 90 days since the last credit card which was a navy federal more rewards and i went ahead because i got this bright idea that i'm like okay i'm gonna apply for the navy federal cash rewards card so more than likely i'm gonna be denied since it's not 91 days and then i'll be able to get my internal score well no <laughs> navy federal did not send me my internal score because most people say, well, if you get denied, what they're going to do is they're going to send you a letter with your TransUnion credit score and on the back, it's going to have your Navy Federal internal score. Well, nope. All they did was send me a letter saying I was denied because it hadn't been 91 days since I had applied for the other credit card. So I was like, Navy Federal is not trying to give me my internal score. So then, y'all, I had sent them an email in the portal to see if I could get my Navy Federal internal score, and they were just like, no. <laughs> so when I saw these two videos about it, I was just like, why Why is YouTube doing this to me? Knowing I want to get my internal score. It is so funny. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, in the description, I'm going to link both of the videos that... I had watched it was it was hilarious but they were good videos I went ahead and watched it because I was like "Ooh, are they gonna have some different information in there for me so what is a Navy Federal internal score so really a Navy Federal internal score I think it's really kind of like a credit score but it's really just like your relationship with Navy Federal and what do I mean you know with your credit score you have five components your payment history your credit utilization, your length of credit, your new credit, and your credit mix. And to me, all the Navy Federal internal score is, like, how long have you been a member with Navy Federal? Do you have multiple products with Navy Federal? Are you in good standings with your Navy Federal accounts? Are you going overdraft? Are you paying late payments? You know, things like that. Because, y'all, when I first joined Navy Federal back in 2019, I had a checking account and a savings account. Y'all was not depositing any money in any of my accounts. And don't you know, I had ended up applying for the Navy Federal flagship. I hadn't even been a member for one year. No, I hadn't even been a member for a month. I had not even been a member for a month. And I applied for the Navy Federal flagship. And I was approved, but they only gave me like barely $7,000. So I'm just like, dang, they be giving people, you know, $25,000 credit limits and then I just get $7,000 and I had a credit score of probably like a 728 or some, maybe even a 740 at that time. And then I barely got $7,000. So I was just like, dang. But then fast forward now, when I had applied for the Navy Federal more rewards, y'all, they gave me 25000 But at that time, I was getting the red deposit in my account. I had the Navy Federal flagship, and I was making, you know, I was paying the card off every month. And then I had a savings account, so I had money in my savings account, the red deposit. And y'all know, even with the Navy Federal cash rewards, here recently, they increased from 1.5% 
cash back to 1.75 cash back if you have direct deposit. So you can see by depositing money in your account and having direct deposit is going to be a positive effect. And so I just thought that was so funny. You know, it's a big difference between my Navy Federal flagship with barely 7,000 and then my Navy Federal more rewards with 25,000. And don't get me started on the car loan. So I had got my auto loan almost a year now. And at the time, my credit score with TransUnion was a 681, even though I thought it was higher. And I was able to get the lowest interest rate for since I had got the loan for 60 months. And I got a 2.19% interest rate for a $20,000 loan. So how good was that? So it's just like, you wanna be in good standings and have a good relationship with Navy Federal. And that's how, if you have a low credit score, but you've been with Navy Federal for a long time, you're depositing money in your account, you have your account in good standings, your internal score is gonna be higher compared to somebody just coming in one month and then they have a high credit score, but they don't, you know, probably the internal score is gonna be low, like mine was in the beginning. I don't have my internal score because I ended up, after I had watched the one video, I called, because I had to call for something else because I was trying to sign up for something, and while I had the lady on the phone, I said, you know, can I get my internal score? And she was like, no. <laughs> I was like, dang, they are not gonna give me my internal score. But it's just like on the one hand, do I really need my internal score? But on the one hand, it's just like, I really don't need my internal score since I know my account is in good standing. I deposit money in all of my accounts. My accounts are, you know, doing well. So more than likely, my internal score is gonna be high. Just looking back at when I had applied for the Navy Federal more rewards credit card i got twenty five thousand. so on the one hand i can come to conclusion that more than likely my internal score is going to be high now that internal score ranges from a 100 to a 450. now when you apply for different navy federal products especially like credit you know like credit cards car loans and things like that they're going to pull your transunion score but they're really going to take into consideration that Navy Federal internal score. But y'all, I don't know if I'm ever going to get that score. <laughs> but y'all have to let me know in the comments, do you have your internal score? Don't rub it in too bad. Maybe one day I'm going to get my internal score. But I just thought that was so funny. I had to share it with you guys. Because I was like, dang, YouTube, why y'all got to be rubbing it in? You know I want to get my internal score. And they will not give it to me. Cause I have tried pretty much, the only thing that I haven't done was sent a message from my mobile device because I've called them actually twice about it. Then I have emailed them about it, but maybe the next time I apply for a credit card, I will see if I can get it after I apply for a credit card, <laughs> but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend and turn your notification bell on so you'll be the first to know when new content drops. And I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, it's a red stick.